a lot of people just see shampoo is that hair care product used for just washing your hair taking dirt off your hair and all of that but shampoo is beyond that there are different types of shampoo all shampoos are not the same so people make mistakes because they call it shampoo they just anyone they just put it in their hair and wash it might be damaging their hair they will not know they just only concentrate on they just feel that shampoo doesn't matter the kind of shampoo you use on your hair doesn't matter so in today's video i'll be talking about different types of shampoo and as i'll be talking about the different types i'll also be explaining the ones that are best for your natural hair relaxed hair and also your hair wigs as well these are many more i'll talk about in today's video hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and to my old and returning subscribers you guys have been amazing so there are different types of shampoo we have sulfate and surface free shampoo sulfate shampoos are those shampoos that help to take off strong dead or oils that must have accumulated in your hair or wigs that uh, during maybe when you did not wash or when your hair are dirty and uh, all of that but one thing with the uh, surface uh, shampoos is that they are very uh, clarifying and also they they form or ladders well and also let me say this as well most shampoos are sulfate in them most of the shampoos they have sulfate because uh, they, they are the one sulfate makes the shampoo ladders or take up dead so most shampoos but it's just that it depends on how much of sulfate that you know or let me put it this way some has a lot of sulfate in them more than some so that's why there are some shampoos that you use they will be very foamy very clarifying clean but at the same time it might not really do good to your hair so sulfate shampoos uh, it's that one of the advantages is that it takes up dirt it takes up build up it foams a lot it lathers a lot but the thing is that it can be very harsh on the hair it can be very dry it can cause uh, over dryness as i like most times you will notice that after washing your hair with shampoo it's you know it gets so drying and people start questioning when you don't use a good deep conditioner or a normal conditioner to balance it up you no know, that's why people say oh shampoos can be drying shampoos can be dry which i've also said in some of my videos because of the sulfate it has in them so sulfate makes your uh, sulfate makes shampoos more drying like make your hair more drying brittle and also frizzy so it depends on how uh, the, the number that depends on how high the sulfate in that shampoo is that will determine how uh, the effect of it will be so most times it's not very advisable to use because it doesn't really do good on the hair although it foams a lot it lathers a lot but it's kind of tend to be very ash on your natural hair or even your uh, woman hair, human hair wigs and all of that so let me talk uh, move over to sulfate free shampoos this is my favorite sulfate free shampoos are tend to be more gentle more uh, um you know moisturizes the hair it doesn't make the hair brittle or harsh and also it's it's it will get the hair it will wash off the dirt in your hair but it's not as strong as a uh, sulfate shampoos so they tend to be very very gentle on the hair and this type of shampoo like they have they don't have sulfate in there that's why if you check the your shampoo that you are buying or any product you see sulfate free when you see sulfate free you know that that pro that shampoo doesn't have sulfate in them so it tends to be very very gentle on the hair especially on natural hair so that's why if you are on a natural hair sulfate free shampoos are best for you even relaxed hair as well even human hair as well surface free shampoos are like my favorite like i really like it it's it's i more recommended because it's not it's very gentle it doesn't make your hair uh, uh, stiff or harsh or it doesn't take off the moisture the oils in your hair after using it to wash your hair compared to surface shampoos so they are very very gentle on the hair that is why whenever i'm buying shampoos i'm very particular about you know checking it if it's sulfate free if it's sulfate free i prefer it actually for those that has a uh, dry hair or those that have natural hair so if you know you have a natural hair always be intentional make sure you buy shampoo sulfate free shampoos because it tends to be more gentle on the hair even relaxed hair like me i also prefer 
using sulfate free shampoo because my hair I, it can be very dry relaxed it can be very dry so sulfate free shampoos are really very good and also gentle so take note whenever you are buying any shampoo when you see sulfate free is always recommended or advisable although it doesn't foam or it doesn't lather as much as a sulfate shampoo but it still get the job done it still do does a perfect job but it's very very gentle on your uh, hair or human hair uh, wigs so now let me talk about another type of shampoo which we have the neutralizing shampoo and also clarifying shampoo neutralizing shampoo is that shampoo that balances the ph of your hair i know you must have been seeing a lot of shampoo we have different type of neutralizing shampoo especially maybe in your relaxer you will see neutralizing shampoo or if you want to buy it in a bottle or like a separate you see neutralizing shampoo is very very common and very popular which a lot of people mistake to just use it generally no neutralizing shampoo like i said balances the ph level of your hair and it's also very recommended for relaxed air people so if you are into you are using a you are relaxing your hair it's very advisable you use neutralizing shampoo after relaxing your hair because it helps to take off every remaining things that remains after relaxing your hair is that shampoo that you use that will, that will clean give your uh, relaxed hair deep clean so if you are a natural person please don't use a neutralizing shampoo but i know a lot of people still make this mistake they just use any shampoo they come across but neutralizing shampoo are specifically made for those that are using that just finish relaxing their hair and even after relaxing your hair it's not something you use often it's not something that you have to use often you try and use another type of shampoo which i will talk about later so this one anytime you see it is specifically made for uh, washing your hair after relaxing your hair so it's for relaxer people and also another um another thing again that uh, neutralizing shampoos are good for is for bleach too after bleaching your maybe your relaxed hair or your hair or your human hair wigs uh, neutralizing shampoos are best for that because it will have to take off those excess you know sometimes bleaching after bleaching you will be washing washing you still be seeing uh, the bleach on the hair you still be showing the color and all of that but neutralizing shampoo helps to take off that uh, extra bleach or any ingredients or any chemical that is left uh, in that hair after bleaching so it's very very good for use so for those that are bleaching their hair that you just come across use any shampoo no after bleaching your hair it is neutralizing shampoo that is best to use on bleaching or after bleaching or watching washing off that excess or extra bleach or chemical that comes with a bleaching or dyeing of hair so these are the two things that you need to generate shampoo for it's not one shampoo that you just use anyhow is for using after bleaching and also after relaxing your hair so if you have been using neutralizing shampoo <laughs> for washing your hair please don't do that you only use it when you are finished relaxing your hair or after bleaching your wig or your hair so now the let me talk about the clarifying shampoos clarifying, clarifying shampoo is that shampoo that uh, is used to take off product build up dead from your hair so is that shampoo that you can still use normal even with anybody can use it but it can it can be very drying and at the same time it can just like a surface shampoo so is that shampoo that you use when to take off oils and the build up so uh, which can really be you know can be a bit ash on the hair is not one shampoo too that you use all the time so even as a relaxed person as well clarifying shampoo, shampoo is that shampoo that you use not after relaxing your hair so is that shampoo maybe your hair is dirty you already washed your hair you already maybe carried your hair for a long time and you want to take off that excess oils and you want to take off that excess bit even as a even in your wigs as well you have a lot of product build up or oils in your your wig as well clarifying shampoo is that shampoo that you can use also for that because it takes off excess product build up and oils which it can be very dry now so it can be very uh it's it can it can take off like it's not it can take off that moisture in your hair if you are not taking care of so the thing is that once you after using it is advisable that you use it for you know you use a very good 
deep conditioner or deep conditioning mask to balance the whole thing so your hair will to bring back that moisture that that clarifying shampoo must have taken off uh, you know from your hair so people will be asking is clarifying shampoo different from the shampoo yes they are different like i have explained the so that this video would not be too long like i've explained about a neutralizing shampoo and also clarifying shampoo so with my explanation i know i hope you'll be able to differentiate the both so the next on my list is a um, cream based shampoo yes this is one of one of these favorite shampoos that i really love like in fact is what i use <laughs> all the time like this is the shampoo that i use cream based shampoo cream based shampoos although they are that type of shampoo that are used for those that have dry hair uh, that has you know there are some people that their hair is always dry it's not like it tends to dry or brittle so this this is the type of shampoo that is recommended they may be for coily hair those that have maybe coily hair and all of that but it's mainly for those that has a dry hair which i use personally because most cream based shampoos are very very gentle on the hair be it wig be it natural hair or relaxed hair so if you are also a natural hair person and you are not you don't you cannot get a, a sulfate free shampoo cream based shampoo is one shampoo too that i would also recommend for you and it has this kind of cream like butter or cream uh, kind of texture is that shampoo that is very gentle on the hair and is that shampoo that after using it to wash your hair it doesn't take off the moisture in your hair in as much as it will take off the dirt in your hair and product build up and all of that it will still retain it will still help in retaining the moisture in your hair or your wig so that's why if you use it you don't experience that extreme dryness that comes with after using a shampoo because it's very very gentle on the uh, hair or wig after using it so this is a shampoo that i always use that in fact for years Cream based shampoos are shampoos that I've been using for a very long time because of how gentle it is on my hair, on my relaxed hair, and also on my natural, on my uh, wig as well. On my wig as well. So if I'm revamping, is cream based. If you watch most of my videos, you will notice that most of my shampoos that I use is a cream based shampoo because of how gentle it is. So it's very, very good and highly recommended for both natural hair both relaxed hair and also your human hair wigs as well then also one thing with a cream based shampoo is that it is not as foamy as other shampoo like maybe surface shampoo or clarifying shampoo and also neutralizing shampoo yes it's not as foamy as those other shampoos but it's just that it gets the job is very very gentle on the hair so maybe for you that doesn't really like uh that you want your shampoo to be very foamy mm. you can you might not really like it but i think it's best for your hair because it also gives your hair that clean but at the same time it doesn't strip your hair of its natural uh, uh texture or moisture so what you will do is that you just make sure you apply it and wash it as many use it as many times as possible until you feel that that wig or that hair is uh, clean you will not notice any form of death in the foam that comes out when you are washing your hair washing your natural hair or washing your relaxed hair, hair so that's it for cream based shampoo then another type of shampoo again that we have is a methylated shampoo yes this is also very popular and also easy to find and also easy to get methylated shampoo are those shampoos that are used for you know when you're having issues with a uh, itchy scalp dandruff um and maybe lies like some scalp issues that is what methylated shampoos are used for but one thing with methylated shampoo is that they are very they can be very clarifying and very dry that makes your your scalp dry makes your hair dry and brittle and frizzy after use so <laughs> i'm not even a huge fan of methylated shampoo i don't even use it on my hair because it doesn't work for my hair at all because it can be very drying because i have my hair is kind of uh, drying like you know it's not is is uh it's not that hair that has a lot of moisture so i don't even use it even if i'm having chichi scalp clarify uh, methylated shampoo is one shampoo that i don't go near it at all 
I don't go near it because of how harsh it is on my hair. So it can be very harsh, it can be very dry, and it's one, it's one uh, shampoo that is not advisable to use it often because it will just finish your hair to make your hair brittle, frizzy, and uh, drying. So this is one, although it works for some people, they will tell you it works for them. You can go ahead and use it, but the thing is that you, it, after you, if at all you want to use it, make sure that you use a very good deep conditioner or deep conditioner to seal the whole thing to bring back the moisture it must have taken off from your hair. So this uh, product, uh, this uh, shampoo, this type of shampoo is not really advisable to use on a natural hair. And even relax it as well, then also your human hair weeks, please don't ever use this methylated shampoo on them because it's very very drying and strip your wig, strip your hair of its natural, uh, of its uh, moisture. But although, you know, our scalp or hair are different, if you feel or you know it works for you, especially for those that suffer dandruff or itching scalp, you can go ahead and use it, but it doesn't work for me because it breaks my hair a lot. So that's it for methylated uh, shampoo and that's it for different types of shampoo and all you need to know about them. Then overall, to me, from experience, my best is surface-free shampoos and cream-based shampoos. Yes, those are the two shampoos that I use. That's personally, even for my natural, uh, for my relaxed hair, and also for revamping as well, because they are face very safe. They are the safest of all the shampoos. They are very, very safe for your hair. I only use clarifying, uh, neutralizing shampoo whenever I just finish relaxing my hair. So to take off that excess uh, chemicals or to balance the pH of my hair, whenever i just finish relaxing my hair but other than that i don't just use a neutralizing shampoo anyhow i use it whenever i just finish relaxing my hair but the two best shampoos that are suitable for any hair texture or wig for revamping and all of that is uh, surface free shampoos and cream based uh, shampoos although there are some cream based shampoos that has uh, that are mentholated that have menthol in them so watch out for those type of uh, cream based shampoo as well when you see mentholated cream based shampoo please don't use it that's if you know that anything mentol doesn't work in your hair so that's it for this video which shampoo are you using are you the one that anything goes into my hair or wig <laughs> let me know in the comment section and there's any question you like to ask relating to this video feel free to ask me in the comment section i'll be glad to answer it to the best of my knowledge but before you click off from this video if you have watched this point and you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for Click the subscribe button to join the family and also click on the notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video. Share this video with someone might find it helpful and informative as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See you in my next one. Bye for now.